Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I received my uh, roof basket. I got it from eBay. This is the 64 inches. Got it from my Toyota 4Runner 4th four generation. And we're gonna be unboxing it and assembling it and installing it on the runner. All right. Very nice uh, package. So these are the brackets for the, the uh, I guess, uh, mounts for the roof, the roof rack. Okay. Get four, four of these rubber things. Got this uh, bracket right here, put on the side for brace. Yeah. One, two, three, four, four of these. Four of these. And then you got your hardware, and then you got your, uh, uh, I guess this is called a U clamp, but it's shaped like this, so U bolt. Okay guys, this is more of the detail on the hardware. You guys interested? And that's how it's supposed to look. Um, looks pretty good. I'm happy with it, but little things I want to point out before we go any further. Um, so the paint is a little, some of the paints are chipping, see that? And uh, one of the pipes are bent, I guess it's from packaging, shipping, so I'm gonna contact the seller and tell him about it. Uh, got more chippings right here. So that's about it, but everything else looks good, so. Okay guys, first thing what you want to do is uh, grab the extension, connect it to one side, I already connected the other side and then see the middle piece, it uh, connects together like this, you just put that in. And then you can slide this in. Then the rear. Okay guys, now that we uh, put it together, we're gonna use these brackets right here to secure it. All right. Okay guys, next step is uh, putting on the bracket. So grab your Grab a bracket, there's four, so I'm gonna show you guys how I did it on this one, and then you'll get the idea. So grab your bolts, two bolts, two nuts, and two washers, and the, the, use the provided island wrench that they uh, gave, and you're gonna need a adjustable wrench or a size 13. Uh, make sure the holes are aligned and let's get to it. What you want to do is put the bracket on right, like this. So, grab your bolt, put the washer right here, and then 
slide it in. You might have to force it a little bit. Grab your nut. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, use Loctite, so you don't want this thing coming off. Put a little Loctite on it. Then we'll do the top. Grab your island wrench and your adjustable wrench and get to work. Guys, everything's uh, put together. Everything's secure. Uh, my thoughts are pretty good, pretty solid. I like it, 64 inch. Um, the only thing I didn't like about it is the packaging, which is a lot of scratches. That's why I said I'm gonna talk to the seller about it. See what we can work, work out. But uh, yeah. For the packages but um uh, I was gonna paint it anyway so I got this from Walmart I'm gonna recode it so it won't be a problem for me and uh, one thing too I got this flex seal I'm gonna seal it up on these uh on like these these uh, connections here these ones here, so the water won't go in. See this? Seal that up. Seal this up. Those ones, and it should be all good. Uh, can't wait to put it on the runner. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, these are the brackets we're gonna be using to mount it on. Alright well, guys, it's, it's the next morning now. Um, I added uh, silicone, clear silicone. I had extra, so I decided to use it uh, for automotive. Um, I put it where I think the water will run through. So, put some right here on the connection. All the connection. And then... We're gonna spray uh, flex seal for uh, more durability and then uh, coat it with uh, matte black spray paint. But before you spray it, uh, alcohol 991, 91%. I'm gonna wipe it down with rubbing alcohol. I got my flex seal, shaking it really good. There goes nothing. There you go. Just like that, guys. All right. Uh, I'm gonna spray everything. I, I can hold the camera at the same time, so I'm gonna spray it and uh, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, guys. I did it uh, up and down. So I sealed the bottom also, bottom and top. So that way it's no water that will uh, sit anywhere. Here it is guys, freshly painted. 
matte black, sealed. It's not perfect, but as long as it doesn't rust for me, I'm good. So yeah, this is how you uh, make it last longer, make it durable. Buying a cheap product to last you a little bit longer. So I had to uh, make sure all these uh, spot welds put extra paint on them because that's where uh, the rust starts and wherever the water sits put extra coat on the spot wells like these ones on the brackets there you go next we're gonna install in the truck so yeah, I'm happy, looking good so far. Okay guys, I already put on the basket on top. I asked my son to help me out because uh, the truck's kind of high. Uh, it's a little bit heavy, but uh, I put three brackets on already. And uh, I'll show you guys how to do it on the last one. Okay, check it out. that on I'm, I'm just gonna cut off the, the bolt right there the one that's sticking on and cut that off with the, the cutter and um, right here the front the driver side uh, the passenger side I put this L bracket for uh, I'm gonna put an awning so what I did was uh, I clamped it down right here the bracket and then I'm gonna support it right here and then add another two screws in here so that way I don't need to drill on my uh, factory rack so yeah I'm gonna put an awning so I, I put that in already so that way when I'm ready to put the awning it's ready to go so what you guys want to do is uh so of course this is your bracket right? I'm gonna put that on last So you grab this, or actually, you grab your, your C clamp. Take it off first. Okay, you grab your C clamp, put it under here. Put it on one side first. Right there, and then go to the other side just a little bit slack so you just slide it in and then you put your the other clamp right here there you go there you go and then just put on the knot right here the nut sides tighten it evenly so that way it has a nice uh, it'll be it'll secure nicely tighten and then after I'm, I do that I put the bracket before it gets tight right here put it under here put it to where it's even with the front yeah should be good Alright guys, everything's uh, secured, back together, check it out, put my awning already, uh, I just made a bracket right here, put a soft tapping screw right there, um, yeah man, uh, looks pretty good, I like it, uh, you guys got any uh, questions, comments, comment down below. What do you guys think? Uh, for me, it's pretty sturdy. I like the matte black. And uh, yeah, it looks good for, for me, so I like it. So if you guys like this channel, help you guys out. Please uh, subscribe, like, and share. Toyota 4Runner, fourth generation. All right. Ready for uh, the outdoors.
here in uh, Houston, Texas.